Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to hair loss after having VSG surgery. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that because this is one of the things that actually made me question whether or not I wanted to get the surgery because the thought of losing my hair was just absolutely terrifying. So right now I'm almost four months post-op and I started noticing the hair loss at about three months, three and a half months. Um, I did kind of start freaking out, but I'm going to tell you some of the things that I've done that I think have helped, but there is one thing you guys have to take into consideration is that this is very common. You don't need to get freaked out about it. You're not going to lose all your hair and have it gone forever. It does grow back. One of the reasons that your hair starts falling out is because there's a lot of hormonal changes that go on through your body when you lose a lot of weight rapidly. Um, this is what my doctor said. This is something that I did a lot of research on ahead of time because like I said, it was like terrifying to think of the my hair like falling out. Like I was thinking of that movie, The Craft, like where the girl's hair is falling out. Okay, but <laughs> okay, that is not what happens. But I will say you do see a lot of hair come out. You see a lot of shedding when you're brushing your hair and you're washing your hair, but don't worry. Again, like I said, it's gonna grow back, okay? I know that my hair has been falling out, but as you can see, it's still kind of, you know, it's not like super thick, but uh, my hair is kind of frizzy and unruly. So I try to wash my hair um, during the daytime only. One thing that I found out is that washing your hair at night is actually really bad for your hair because your hair is a lot more brittle and soft. And so when you're like tossing and turning in bed, it can break your hair and make more of it fall out. So I stopped doing that because I was doing that for a long time. Um, I don't particularly style my hair a lot. Um, I've actually stopped dyeing my hair and I've stopped, uh, you know, using blow dryers and flat irons and all that stuff on my hair. I'm trying to just be really gentle and nurturing to my hair. So I just let it air dry, put on a little beanie, walk around and just do my thing. It'll dry on its own. And then like by the end of the night, it'll actually be really soft and silky. So I'm going to show you some of the products that I've used that I've been using on my hair, like some serums and some sprays and treatment oils that have helped keep my hair soft and manageable. And more importantly, it's what you're putting into your body. So from, from the beginning, before I even had surgery, I started taking biotin and I started taking a collagen supplement daily. Um, I also made sure that I took a little bit of iron. Um, that's not part of the bariatric vitamin routine, but it is something that a friend of mine who had the surgery said that really helped was making sure that you have enough iron in your body. Um, but most importantly, the most important thing about any of this is that make sure you get your protein in. When you have VSG surgery, it's one of those things for the rest of your life. It's a lifestyle change. You're gonna have to make sure that you get at least 60 grams of protein in a day I always shoot for like 80 grams of protein because the protein is something that really impacts your hair, your skin, your growth. Now I will say, I know that these collagen and biotin supplements are working. And the reason I know that is because of my nails. Um, my nails have always been really bad. My nails have never looked like this ever. I've always gotten acrylic nails and I stopped doing that because, well, I didn't want to spend $80 a month to get my nails done. And they were like breaking and stuff and it was like really painful and I just was over it. So I just said, forget it. I'm just going to let my natural nails grow out. The collagen, even though I still am losing some hair, um, I, I know that it's going to actually help. My skin has looked better. My skin's a lot more smooth. Um, I haven't had any breakouts. But your nails are an example of what's going on with your nutrition when it comes to hair, skin, and nails. So this is an indication that the, the supplements that I've been taking are working. Um, so who knows, maybe it's helping prevent more hair falling out. You can't expect none of your hair to fall out. It's gonna fall out, but don't let that discourage you. And I wanna just tell you again, I'm so grateful that I had this procedure. I had a lot of second thoughts and I almost backed out of it multiple times. Um, but when it came time to make that decision, I decided to just go for it and I'm so glad that I did. So don't let the hair thing freak you out and make you not want to have the surgery. Talk to your doctor. It's going to grow back. There's a lot of things you can do to keep your hair healthy. Whatever you put into your body is what's going to come out. If you put junk in your body, you're going to have junk results. If you put good things in your body, you're going to have good results. 
So just be patient. It's a process and it's a lifestyle change. Remember, this is not something that just magically happens overnight. It takes a lot of work. Having VSG surgery is not the easy way out. It's just a tool that really helps you achieve your goals. And so that's why I decided to do it. And I hope you guys have success. Again, don't let the hair thing freak you out. I want you guys to at least take a leap of faith. I've seen some groups, a lot of people say that they just cut their hair. Some people shave their heads. I'm definitely not gonna be shaving my head. <laughs> I might cut my hair. I mean, who knows? I don't know how much more my hair is gonna fall out, but I have taken off a little bit of length. My hair was really, really long, um, and I did trim it up a little bit. So, you know, whatever. My hair, it doesn't look perfect, but whatever. It looks fine. It's hair. Let's not freak out about hair. I mean, I can cut it up to here and it'll still look cute, right? All right, guys. Thank you for watching this. And if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions for you and good luck.